What's going on, my beautiful, lovely people of the internet? My name is Kevin Moore, and thank you guys for joining us on Miraculous. <laughs> Today, I have the honor of interviewing the one, the only, Mr. Money Sai Sway, man. What the fucking deal? What camera I look at? Okay, so this is a camera where you talk to the people, yeah. and this is like the wide one. You All know right. what I mean? Where we both like, take a both to this and this one. Yeah, what's the fucking deal? I need Money Sai Sway. Man, right here, my boy Cam Moore. Yeah, 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 yeah thanks man. for having me. Man, it's been uh, a while since the last interview. A lot has changed. One of the biggest things being, you know what I mean, your tattoos, man. Could you could you let us know what, what's up, bro? Yeah, I got this one like yeah, like three weeks ago, buddy. For real? Yeah. You got a face tap, man. Face That's tap. crazy as heck. Well, what made you decide to get a flower? Uh, my mom's name is a rose. That's my mom's name and shit. That's why I got it. Okay. That's, That's why I got it. I, yeah, just, I, I don't know, I just feel like I needed some shit on my face. Yeah. I only had this shit, so I'm like, fuck it. For me. Did it hurt? Hell yeah, that shit hurt. That shit hurt. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that shit hurt. You've gotten a couple other tattoos. I remember I, I was there when you got like a stomach tattoo. Out of all your tattoos, which one would you say is the most painful? The most painful? Probably the stomach. Probably the stomach, for real. Like on the side and shit on uh -huh. ribs, cause I'm a skinny ass nigga, so. Yeah. This shit hurt like on the side. I feel like it was like my ribs and shit. That shit hurt. I don't think the people have seen it before. Could you let the people oh, yeah. see it like oh, what yeah. you got? In oh, yeah, I haven't even posted about it really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got chosen one right here. Chosen one on your stomach, man. Chosen one. This one, this one or, or, or my neck. But you weren't, you didn't even remember you mean like the process. Or did you? Yeah. You? I, at last I felt it like that shit hurt. At first I didn't feel it. It was numb, but at last I felt it. My dynamic was going away. So we didn't get the opportunity, you know what I mean, to talk to you when you got first out. So I had some questions, you know what I mean, while you're in there. What was your favorite thing to cook while you're inside? Shit, a couple of different shit, little spreads and shit, wedding burritos. I don't know, fuck, fuck your food. I ain't gonna lie, just fuck all that shit. Yeah. Fuck your food, nigga. Dude, you ain't even trying to think of that shit. Man, okay, because I had another question, like... Uh, I, I, start, I be, cry, I be cry, I low key craving it, though. Like, I be trying to, like, cook shit. Like, over here trying to find shit and go cook it for my family shit so they could try it. Really? Know? Like, the, yeah, but, the food? Yeah. I still want to do that. I just haven't really, like, gone to the store and, like, look for everything. I, it always makes me wonder, like, how it tastes, because, like, you... It's always spoken so highly of, like, oh, man, I love this shit. I love this shit. But, like, no one really knows how it tastes. It's good. I like it. Um, but fuck that shit, for me. Fuck the spreads. In your fresh out interview from the past, you mentioned how you didn't get to enjoy it, like the exciting parts about blowing up. Now that you've been out a couple months, do you feel like you got to experience some of that? Yeah, yeah. Cause when I was fresh out, like I, I didn't even know about. Cause I, I got locked up when I was barely blowing up. Boom, I came out and like I kind of blew up in jail in a way. You feel me? So yeah. I didn't get to like really experience all the fame and shit. And I did say like, oh, I don't know how to really like experience the fame, but now I've been out for what like. Six months now, so yeah. The, the fame is crazy for me. It's good though. Uh -huh. it's good. What's the craziest part about this whole journey? Like the fans and shit, you know, yeah. being recognized. Uh -huh. I love that shit though. I'll never say no to no pictures. Though. You want pictures? Just gonna come up to me, feel me? Has there ever been an experience like where they requested something that was like, like completely weird, like or like it just shocked you? Like what you mean? Like let's just say a fan came up to you <clears> and like. She was asking for something like that was completely, uh, or like even a guy, you know what I mean? Like something like, what's the craziest fan experience that you've ever had? Not really like too crazy shit, but you know, they be trying to invite me to little parties. And shit. Yeah. For me. Not like I'm really to my jeans or what? Yeah, all that. <laughs> 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 hey, don't, 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 don't get mad or nothing. They just we can't, we can't really do that. For me. It's burnt but out, huh? They don't, out. they don't understand that. Yeah, they don't really understand. But yeah, it's kind of burnt out. But yeah, they be trying to invite me to like kings and shit, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's cool. Though. Like yeah. sometimes I feel like doing it. For me, cause like, I got love for the fans and shit. I uh -huh. feel like doing it sometimes, but I just, I just nah. I really can't. In the song, too late. You say, mama, look, now I'm on stage. What was it feeling like when you first hopped on stage? Because you spoke about that even before, you know what I mean? There was anything close of you being on the stage. Yeah. How did it finally feel like when you like stepped up? I ain't gonna lie to you, like, I still get nervous. Uh -huh. I mean, I still get nervous, but that shit crazy, like, really doing it. Uh -huh. And from that song, I did say that, you feel me? But that shit just crazy, fool. Like, really being on stage, I get nervous still. Uh -huh. I ain't gonna lie, I, I'm not like fully all confident. I still be like, oh shit, like, nigga, everybody looking at me. Like, yeah. <laughs> but it's just stupid though, cause I shouldn't even be nervous. Cause I'm a rapper, like, I should right. supposed to do crap concerts and shit, but I still get nervous, shit. I ain't gonna lie, I always been shy too. Like, I'm a shy ass nigga, like, 
so all that shit being on stage is uh, crazy. Like, do you even see the fans? Like, cause you know, you, you yeah. I'm good, bro. Thank yeah. you. Usually you have like lights going in your face and all over the place. Like, you can still see everybody's face. Nah, low key, I feel like you, like a rapper, like we don't really like be paying attention to like faces. It's just, uh huh. Like knowing it's just like everybody's looking at you, it's just like you know. It, it's, it's kind of like, like yeah. But like after like a couple minutes, and then you just like you, like it wears off a little bit, and you just be chilling, like more confident. After a couple minutes, though. First minute is gonna be crazy, but oh shit, you know. Before, you know what I mean, hopping on stages, even before Suede, did you have any jobs like that you worked at before? Yeah, like like before I started rapping. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of jobs were you working uh, at? I used to work at a factory. Uh, what like would a, you do? Like, like a clothes factory, like a like a tela factory. Uh, but look, uh, and then I worked construction too when I was 15. When I started yeah. high school, I started working construction. I worked construction for real. You know what's crazy, bro, that you mentioned that, that you said at 15 years old that you started working in construction? I was wor watching a video earlier about, like, the story of Money Science Suede or something like that. I don't know if you've seen the video as well. But then they were talking about how you did construction. I was like, That's I don't crazy, think yeah. there's anywhere that there's a fucking, like, I, I swear on everything. Like, there's no I, information I, I, online. I know. I've I, I seen how, that video. I, I how the fuck do you think they got that information? I don't know, but they knew a little too much. Yeah, bro, wait, wasn't it a little like, how the yeah, fuck I you seen know? It, and they're like, oh, he grew up 10 years in South Central, yeah, 10 yeah. years in HP. I'm like. How did they know that? I'm like, yeah, I don't even think I said that before. What you think, bro? The feds are making know. YouTube videos now? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> bro, what? I don't know, dog. I don't know. That shit was crazy. That shit was a trip, huh? Yeah. But I did work construction, though. What, like, what were they like, having you do? A whole, lot of, a whole lot of shit. I don't even know how to say it in English. Uh -huh. like, I used to do last though. Last, I don't even know how to say that word. How do you say that shit? Like landscaping? L A T H. Like in what? Like laugh? You don't. I don't even know. Before, I used to put up this little like this alambre for. Uh -huh. I used to put black paper over the houses, and I used to work, um put alambre in the houses and shit. Before you put the 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 cement. The cement that's what we did. I don't know how to say it in English though. Lathering. Why were you working at such a young age? Like, what was the mentality behind that? Um, I've been even before I jumped out of high school. Like, I've been a uh, work construction on like on the weekend sometimes, like, uh -huh. random like once a month. I'll just go with my uncle or something. You know, I don't know. I just stopped going to school, and then I was like, I'm not going to school. I'm, I just want to work. I want to get right. money. I just wanted to get money, bro. Uh -huh. Straight up. That's why I started working by my own shit. You feel me? Yeah. At the, at the moment. How was the tour with Phoenix flexing? What did you learn from it, and how was it seeing like parts of the world? That shit was cool as fuck. Shout out my nigga Phoenix. That shit was cool. Feel me? I went. Uh, I got on a plane for the first time. The first time. Well, how was it? Were you scared? <laughs> nah, I wasn't scared. I, I was excited. I ain't gonna uh -huh. lie. I was recording this shit, you know, the takeoff and shit. Yeah, yeah. I was phobic, you know, I'm phobic too. It was our, it was both our first time. I yeah. phobic on the plane on for the first time. Where'd you guys fly to? Huh? It was a quick flight? Portland. It was a quick flight? It was like, like two hours, not like an hour and 30 minutes, two Did hours. you feel any turbulence? Nah. No? So it was a smooth one? Damn, so you haven't had one of those moments where you're like, pray to God, you're like, God, hope this plane lands safe, that nothing like that? Like, that yeah, bro, the plane will <laughs> shake sometimes, bro. Out of nowhere, that motherfucker would drop like 10 feet, like like some crazy shit, and they'll just tell, let, you know what I mean, let you know. We'll put your seatbelt on and shit, but. I mean, shit. You ain't never had one of those situations, nah. though, huh? I only been on plane twice. Uh -huh. I was the first time, because I, I flew to Portland, whatever, mm -hmm. and the tour went on, like, you drove. Like to into other like another city in Portland, I mean in Oregon, then another city in Oregon, and then we went to like down the bay and shit, yeah. like so. And then um, and then we even drove to um Arizona, and then um I remember I was just trying to be home like when the show ended. Yeah. I just wanna go home back to LA. It was um, exhausting, like the whole tour. Uh, the tour? Yeah. Uh, nah, it was cool. I ain't gonna lie. Like, that shit was smooth. I, mean, I had fun. It was my first tour, too. Yeah. So. What was so fun about the experience? <laughs> like, like the people that around the tour? Or, like, what were you experiencing? It was just cool, like, going out and shit and being out and just all day rap. Like, yeah. Like, you, you, you go away from reality a little bit, you know? Yeah. You just, like, on tour, you chilling, you wake up, yeah. see when they, like, the shows and shit every night. That's just cool. Seeing different cities, that shit just cool. It was smooth. That's what I was gonna ask you about seeing different cities. Was that your first time really traveling outside of like Huntington Park? Yeah, that was, my first, that was my first time. Like, I ain't never even been. The farthest I've been was like Vegas. Was, oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Before that, like Vegas. Oh, man, free my nigga Polo, nigga. Free my nigga Green Eyes, Triz, Gato, nigga. You gonna see this one day, nigga. I mean, HP shit, Parkside, baby, all that. 
Shout out my nigga Luda, Fog, Big Peso, nigga JB, nigga. Nigga, we came a long way for us, shit crazy. You seen it all. Shout yeah. out my nigga Kevin too. The nigga sprints it all. Nigga, we blew up. That shit yeah. crazy. I know, that, that it always trips me out. And not even the end too. It's just beginning, nigga. Like, we still gonna blow up more, nigga. You feel me? We still gonna blow up. Like, 2022, we gonna blow up more. Like Okay, so speaking about blowing up, bro. So you blow up. You know what I mean? You're, you're, you're catching steam behind you. Why are you still in the hood? Like, what, you can move out of the hood, but you choose to stay in the hood, bro. Like, what, what's going on with that? I don't know. I need to move out. Like, I could have been moved out. Like, I, just, I don't know. Just, I'm just living too fast. Uh-huh. I feel like that's what it is. Like, we, yeah, we were saying, oh, yeah, I'm going to move out. I'm going to move out. I'm going to I'm going to find a pad and whoop, whoop. But it's like, we're just living too fast, bro. It's just like. It just, You're like, oh, I'm gonna do it tomorrow, and then a bunch of shit happens yeah, tomorrow, yeah. and exactly. it just keeps happening like exactly, that. Exactly, exactly, yeah. Like, every day, just like, ever since I came out, nigga, we been chilling, like, every day, like, something just, you know? Something, something pops up every day. Yeah, something pops up, we doing something, it just, that's why I moved out, though, but I want to, you know? Soon, I'm gonna want. So, like, speaking about you doing stuff every day, um, I just got back from Vegas, you know what I mean? We went to watch a fight. When's the last time that you've taken a vacation? Because from my perspective, you work all the time. Tour. Tour? Yeah. You would say that's a vacation? Even though you're still working all the time? Yeah. Like, do you feel like... <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. feel like you'll take, like, a regular vacation? Damn. Right now, you too vacationing. You've never been out the hood. <laughs> that's the crazy part, though. It really hey, blows dude. my mind. Dude, we haven't even took vacation. Well, I guess when I got locked up, uh -huh. that was the last time. Hey, is there like a place that you want to see in person? Hell yeah, a couple of places. I want to go to New York. I want to go, to, you know, everywhere though. No, even France, nigga, Paris, nigga, all that shit. Yeah, I went to Spain. For me. Yeah. When will you know that you have made it? Like what dignifies that? I don't know. I kind of feel like kind of already making it. Yeah. I haven't made it, made it yet, but I'm making it. But I know I'm making it for me, so. I don't know. But is there something like, let's just say, like when you win this award, or when you get this car, oh, yeah, or yeah, when yeah. you move to this place, like, is there something like that that you'll know, like, man, I made it? I don't know, because I want to say, like, oh, nigga, like, oh, I like, blow up and get a song with this person or something. Uh -huh. You know? That could kind of say I kind of made it if I make a song with, like. So who would that be? Like, who would be, like, a person that if you got a song with them, you'd be like, I made it? I don't know, dog. We got a, we got a song on the way with Sway Lee, so I feel, you know. Oh, so you got a song with Sway Lee coming? Yeah. How's that, bro? It's cool. Yeah? I hope, I hope it does good, you know I mean? Yeah. Yeah, but we working on it though, the whole label shit, you know, a lot of shit. So recently, you know what I mean, there's some story posts about Free Suede. Unfortunately, that happened. How did it feel when you got arrested and what was going on in your head, you know what I mean, as I was taken down? It was bullshit. Like, we just did a show in Riverside and shit. We did a show, chilling, we took a picture with a lot of fans. And, like, 40 minutes. If I would've, if I would've left right after the show, like without taking pictures for 40 minutes, I would've been straight. But right, right when I left after taking pictures, you know, that's, I don't care though, I show love. But yeah, right after we left, nigga, we got stopped like 30 seconds after, fool. Really? Yeah. So you just hit the road in 30 seconds, lights on? Like we just, we finished taking pictures, we got in the corner, fans, we left, boom, cops were behind us already, nigga, we got stopped. Nigga. Damn, do you feel like it was like, and they, were they were like, just waiting for you? I don't know. I thought about it, but I don't know. I don't know shit. We just left though. But they were behind us. Oh shit. We turn out. We, we hit a right phone. It was like, and then we got blocked. It was a fucking one way street. Like, yeah. no circle shit. I'm like, oh shit. Like, we just gotta start right there. We just gotta start. Feel me? No reason to pull you over. Like, they didn't say, like, they just pulled you over. I mean, they were saying, like, oh, we smell like weed and shit, but nah. But that wasn't a, a probable cause from seeing beforehand, right? So, in your Say Cheese interview, you spoke about trying like a line for the first time at 16. What was your first time trying drugs? And like, what drug was it that you tried first? Fucking, I guess weed was drug, right? Yeah. I, uh, I started smoking early too, like, no, not too early. I was like 12. How did that come together? Like a big homie just passed it or what? <laughs> nah, I was in high with my cousins and shit. Uh huh? Yeah, that's it. My cousin, we were smoking out of pink cap. <laughs> pink caps, nigga, in middle school. Uh, and apples, nigga, you know I mean? <laughs> graduated to the apples. apples. Did you ever have like the little plastic Pants, bottles? Plastic bottles too. All that. And what like drew you to smoking? Like what made you say, fuck it, I want to hit the blunt? I don't know. I just remember like shit. Uh, I just wanted to get, I don't know. 
I'm my cousin will get high, the homies will get high and shit. And I remember one time, nigga, I need to go home and I sold weed and shit. So I, 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 it was like, nigga, I think I got high like on New Year's school. I was like 14. Yeah. On New Year's, nigga, Eve. The whole family was partying and shit. I'm like, nigga, I don't know. I just felt, I just wanted to, I don't know. Something just came to my mind that day, nigga, like, I want to get high, you know? I want to yeah. try it. I hit the homie up. I picked it up. Got high as fuck. I went to my roof, nigga. I went to my roof. Like, my window had a little yeah. like, patch of the roof and shit. And I remember I made a little water bottle ball and shit. Yeah. With the foil on top, you know? And then the whole, you know, like, whatever. I got high as fuck, nigga, in the roof. And I remember a nigga being high as fuck, a nigga with a spade. My little nigga spade, my little nephew spade. Yeah, we got yeah. high as fuck for the first time. Both the first time, like, first we were hitting it. Yeah. Nigga, I don't feel nothing, like, okay, hitting it. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, I was passing it to my little nigga, fool. We got high as fuck, nigga. Like, we were like, all of a sudden, nigga, like, I trying to get up, fool. Everything yeah. was all like, oh, <laughs> shit. It was my first time yeah. getting high, fool. Like, I was seeing my little neck for like three times, like yeah. boom, 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 like oh for shit. Real? I feel like I was about to fall out the roof. Some more shit. I barely, I, I got lucky, nigga. I was really like, it was hard to get inside my room, nigga, like inside the window. That nigga was floating. I was floating, <laughs> nigga, for real, nigga. For my first time, and then I remember we both laid down in the bed, uh -huh. and we were just like looking up until oh, we locked out. We just so uh -huh. high, nigga, just fell asleep. Like after that. I don't know, we just started yeah. doing it a little slowly. I started yeah. doing it, my little nigga stopped after that. He was like, hell nah, nigga. He didn't like the feeling? <laughs> nah, I didn't have a chomp and tight, nigga. I just kept going. Yeah. What, what about Lee, man? When was the first time trying Lee? I ain't gonna lie, bro. I barely started sipping this shit, but I don't even sip like that. I just be sipping a little bit. The first time was when I was <clears throat> fresh out. Uh huh. <coughs> like, really? Like so, May. so you just recently, like th that recent, tried lean? Oh look, nah, I've been tried it. Like I've been tried it since nigga high school. Uh huh. We've been tried it. If my, I, I find that shit in my fridge sometimes. When I was in high school. I was just poured up. Yeah. A couple homies had it. We we been we been leaning down before, but like, so actually like that was like rare. You feel me? The yeah. Lean. But when I came out this time, I just started sipping for real, like for me every night. <laughs> you sipping right now? <laughs> 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 but ever, ever since May, so yeah. What's your favorite like drink to pour up in? Little cream sodas. The A and W's or like the John's ones? Those are cool. The John's? No, the A and W. Okay. I don't really like the John's. You don't like the John's? Nah. And uh, fucking uh, like big blue little, little sodas. But you can't ever go wrong with Sprite, you feel me? A feature with Two Chains got leaked. What other artists can we expect to hear a song with? In the future with this mention Sway Lee. Yeah, well. Sway Lee. Two chains. I forgot about that. I forgot uh, about that one. Yeah, we we two chains too. I don't know, cause I feel like it just be happening, bro. Like yeah. the like the link ups and shit, like it just it just be happening and shit. I've been working with a lot of people. It's crazy, look, my fair rapper was uh made in Tokyo nigga, like yeah. Tony that's the reason why I started rapping nigga, cause, right. cause of this nigga, you feel me? Yeah. Made in Tokyo. And I got a song with this nigga now and all that nigga. I feel proud of that nigga. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, that's crazy as fuck, bro. I literally had that. Like, how does it feel, you know what I mean, that your life has come full circle and like, like you said, the person who got you into rapping, you know what I mean? Now you're making a song with them. How does it feel like? I guess it feel like I made it, but I haven't really, you know? Yeah. I just feel like I could still do more. I ain't gonna do more, you feel me? But I just, after that, it's like, damn, nigga. I mean, in a way I made it, nigga, in a way, you know? And, and what was like your conversation like with him? How did I hit him up? Like yeah, like how did that collaboration come together? How did it happen? Hold on, it just happened, bro. I've been fucking with um, him and his brother, uh, 24 Hours. That's my people, good. My, that's my good people too. 24 Hours, nigga. That's my nigga. Straight up, that nigga go hard too. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, 24 is hard. I think I posted something on my on my uh, on my story. What did I post? Who remember when I posted that shit? So you posted a story and I posted like I tagged them like yeah and I was bumping the song and I was hey like I go fuck with them like nigga like like this is the reason why I started uh, rapping and I tagged them and I he seen it and he like that's love and I was showing the shit I think he said let's work or some shit and then 24 hit me up uh -huh. and then and 24 said pull up I pulled up and then we did some shit you feel me? I got more shit with his brother though, 24 though I'm sure by now Adam 22 has reached out to you for like an interview why haven't you done an interview with No Jumper? I lied on it. I lied on it like twice. And really? Shit, yeah. Like twice? Yeah, on the, on the no jumper interview. For real? Yeah, but shout out, shout out Adam though. I just at the time I was supposed to do it. I was just going through a little bullshit. I feel like I didn't want to do an interview with me. Right. But, 
But, but I need to do it though. I fuck with Adam and shit. He be putting, you know, he he, he has a good platform and it uh, helps a lot of artists and shit. Okay? But I'm gonna do it though. I want to. Shit, if he's still down, I don't, I don't wanna get like burnt. You know, I yeah. lagged on him twice, you know, but yeah. I, I wanna do it. Like, no jumper. Because that's like a huge thing. Because for a lot of people, they feel like that's like a big stepping stone. Like once they finally get the no jumper interview, that's like a huge, you know what I mean? Cosign. Yeah. For the game. Yeah. I want to do it just at the time. It was just bullshit going on and shit. But. Man, so the people are wondering, obviously, you're Mexican. You come from a Mexican background. Do you like corridos? Nah. Really? <laughs> what? What's, why, why does no one like corridos? Like, what's wrong with corridos? Like, don't get me wrong, though. Like, some, some really, like, they go hard and shit. Uh-huh. But some, some niggas go hard. Like, some, some niggas burn, like, the niggas that burn, start blowing up all that shit. So the new corridos. Like, yeah, the new corridos. corridos. That shit cool. I f- kind of fuck with it, you know? Yeah. Ah, uh, respect. I'm gonna make a corrido next. Not pay. <laughs> nah. In nah. Spanish and shit? Nah, 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 hell nah. I'm, I shit. Low key, I've been thinking about it, bro. Like making a Spanish song? But like in the future, though. Okay. So what, like, kind of Spanish song would like, be a like, corrido or reggaeton? But I want to try both, but reggaeton, like, I want to get a song with, like, I know it or Bad Bunny or somebody. I know it? Yeah? Bad Bunny. That's your art, some Bad Bunny shit? What? That'd be crazy, huh? Nah, so, I, I want to do it one day. Uh-huh. You know, everybody like, what the fuck, nigga, think, like, dreaming too hard yeah. to, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it, I wanna do it. So, like, do you listen to Bad Bunny and uh, Anuel a lot? Shit, not too much, but yeah, it be around me, like, my girl be bumping yeah. it. Okay, so she puts the music and that's how you hear it? Uh, yeah, low-key, kind of, she put me onto all that, like, do don't shit, like cool, yeah, that shit cool, though. Some shit cool. Man, I wanna make it. <laughs> yeah. So, as a youngin, you don't really have funds like that, like, how are you coming up with money to get weed and shit like that shit fool it's been it's been like to to like like different shit to get money for real we uh-huh. we, we sold a couple sacks me and the homies in high school nigga couple sacks nigga you feel me delivering delivering you know on a bike nigga on scooters nigga really down the block you pull up on the scooter yeah down the block if it was in hp I, it was local yeah, yeah. yeah fucking real quick deliver a sack with him feel me? we've been done that but it's been to like even when we was like 14 15 six like 15 years, nigga, we used to like, I remember, nigga, like, me, um, homie, K2, Fritz, nigga, you know, homie, Clyde, nigga, we used to hop inside fences, and, like, we used to walk, walk down the alley at, before school, we uh-huh. go to school all day, matter of fact, you feel me, that's every day, we go to school, and, like, I remember we just wanted to smoke, nigga, yeah, and sometimes we, we ain't go in no lick or nothing, fool, we used to, like, go down, like, go down the alleys, and just find, like, a, a like, a backyard with a lot of cans, uh-huh. Nigga, I remember when we used to hop in, do all the cans, nigga, boom. Take them, sell them, nigga, real quick. We like, what, 40, 50 bucks? Boom. Buy some weed, feel me? A little pizza or some shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were 14, 15, all that. Nigga, we did all that, fool. You know, stealing shit. I remember, I remember we used to uh, go to homies' houses and getting TVs. Even my TV, nigga, we pawned that shit. You guys pawned TV to get some weed? Yeah, you know, a lot of bullshit, nigga. Oh, my God. Pawned TV, was walking down the city, too. Yeah. Walking down Gage with yeah. a big-ass TV one time. Yeah. With all the frisk. About to pawn that yeah. shit. <laughs> Two ass kids pawned the TV. Wait, so you guys were young doing this, like, pawning? 15. Really? Pawn you could pawn shit at that age? I did. Yeah, yeah. They, didn't, they didn't even ask you all that. Nah, hell yeah, we used to pawn everything, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> we used to pawn everything. <laughs> Straight up. First time merch, nigga. Oh, look. Part time about the merch. We about to give out like some merch. We made a gang of merch. We about to give it all out. Uh, uh, not for Christmas, but we're going to do it this month. We're just going to throw out merch to the fans and shit. Soon I'm going to announce it. I've been saying it, but I'm going to make a little flyer, post it. I'm gonna give out, uh, give, give out a gang of merch to the fans, nigga, to everybody in the city, you feel me? So they can rock it. Everybody in the HP, you feel me? The moms, the dads, nigga, kids, all that. Where could they find you? Uh, Instagram, Money Sun Sway, YouTube, Money Sun Sway, Twitter, Money Sun Sway, OnlyFans, not <laughs> 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 nah, nah, nah. nah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, you can find me right here. Where you can find me in HP, nigga. Let me find it, nigga. I'll be in the park, nigga. Thank you so much, bro. I really appreciate you popping out. I appreciate, you know I appreciate you, 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 my yeah, I appreciate you, my nigga. I appreciate you, my nigga. For me, I appreciate my nigga. I gotta fuck with my nigga. For real, nigga. Next stuff. Fuck. <laughs> That's funny as fuck, bro. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like button. Let us know in the comment section below who you'd like to see next. If you haven't already subscribed, please do subscribe. My name is Kevin Moore. This is Money Science Suede. That's JV. And we're out. Peace.